Hello everybody and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome Amiibo. Today we have more mail from Sky. Thanks for having me over the other day. Seems like you like simple decor. Less is more right. Hope you can hope you like this thank you gift uh, and can use it in your house. Watch her be giving me like another clock. They always give me clocks. It's always a clock. I see it clock. No, a chair. Wow. That's like a first. I'm impressed. Now, I, I... I do have things I feel like rambling about today, but it'll take a second before I decide to start rambling. Because I want to make sure everything does not explode. Everything did not explode. Um... I, I basically have had quite the interesting morning of... Trying very hard not to get into arguments. <laughs> okay, so there is a game called Battle Stations Midway. It's also a game called Battle Stations Pacific. Um, basically, they are like World War II USA versus Japan games of naval warfare. So obviously, World of Warships fans like the games. I'll talk to Sky really quick. Good morning, cool guy. So what can I do for you? Let's chat. Sometimes when I'm alone in my house, I get kind of creeped out. If you're free right now, it would be, it'd be great if you come over and keep me company. Sure. That sells it. Let's get going. Yeah, we're, we're literally right here. But, um... Basically, these games are pretty old. Pretty heavily unrealistic. Um, like, honestly, not very good games. Yeah, her, her home is still looking pretty good. Please make yourself at home, Airmail. I will. I mean, she has, like, nowhere to sit down. So, like, that's, that's a bit of a problem. We really need to get rid of this shirt. So, if she asks for something, if I want to buy something, it's going to be that shirt. But yeah, there is a pretty lively modding community of that game. And that modding community basically just is soon going to be releasing a basically a pretty big mod, adding a bunch of like World of Warships ships into the game, a bunch of War Thunder ships and planes, like basically like doing a lot of things that will be improve the game to one measure or another. Well, um, do you play any instruments, cool guy? But practicing and practicing. I still have a ways to go before I can start a band. That's fair. Um, the World of Warships community contributor, Sea Lord, made a video on this mod, and the only thing I saw a lot of people talking about in the comments was, Man, it'd be so cool if World of Warships had, had this realistic of anti-aircraft. As you might guess, it wasn't very realistic at all. I played... It's a little embarrassing for me knowing you're inspecting everything in my room. Yeah, I'm gonna stick around like you did yesterday. Tit for tat. Um, basically, the, the mission that Sea Lord was doing was effectively the sinking of Yamato, effectively. And that meant that his fleet was comprised of a Yamato, a couple of cruisers that calling them cruisers is a bit of a generous term. They were long destroyers with basically no anti-aircraft guns. A pair of Akazukis, which, albeit, weren't terrible anti-air destroyers, but still only had four effective anti-aircraft guns. And aside from that, a bunch of destroyers armed with barely anything more than machine guns for anti-aircraft firepower. 
That's why Yamato was sunk by aircraft relatively easily, on top of the fact that Yamato's anti-aircraft guns had a pretty big window in the middle of their range where they couldn't do a huge amount. What do you think of my furniture? It's nice. Oh, do you mean it? Let me know if there's a piece of furniture that you'd like. I might be willing to part with it. Yeah, let me see. I want to get make sure I'm... Sky. My baseball shirt? See, I don't blame you. I do too. I will take it so you replace it with something else. Bam. I mean, Reese will. Um, that's gotta be it for in here. Uh, I am heading home. Before I go, can you give me your honest opinion of my place? It's great. Really think so? I was actually thinking it could use a lot of improvements, so I'm happy to hear you say that. Now you motivate me to work extra hard to make sure my place is wonderful. Today was a lot of fun. But, um... Basically... Sea Lord was able to effectively completely protect his little fleet from air attack with basically almost nothing but Yamato's anti-aircraft guns because that fleet had almost nothing else. And that is so horrifically wrong that I don't even know where to start. And like, I know I'd made mention in the past and I still have my notes on it and I still want to do this of make a video on World of Warcraft World of Warships anti-aircraft. Yeah, World of Warcrafts. Um, but at this point, knowing that the carrier rework is actually happening, I feel like I'm going to wait until after the rework so I can add in the problems that the rework are going to be adding to make anti-aircraft more unrealistic. Like, I would have no problem with even, like, um, battle stations anti-aircraft. If instead of shooting down the planes, it dispersed the attack, because that's what anti-aircraft guns do. They don't shoot down planes, especially World War II era ones. They don't shoot down planes. They scare off the planes. They make that plane not fly a straight line while attacking you, you know? And like... That's something that the World of Warships community needs to learn. But because there are so many other games that they perceive as being more realistic. I swear partially because, you know, they've watched way too many American war documentaries. I mean, okay. Next time you're watching, like, a, one of those American war documentaries. Especially ones that would, like, be airing in the early 2000s. Pay attention to how often they, like, show a gun fire and then it immediately getting a result. Or, like, you know, like, a, a good example is, like, I remember one, which was actually on the Korean War, where it was, like, it, it showed, like, a dude with a machine gun shooting at an aircraft from his tank... And then it showed, like, three aircraft, like, falling from the sky that were clearly not even the aircraft he was shooting at. Like, <laughs> that's still the level these are. Like, they're far from realistic. Yet people look at them and go, yeah, that's how it really was. Like, no, it, it wasn't. Like, even, like, that footage of three aircraft falling from the sky, like, that was almost certainly, especially because in the background of this footage, there was also a lot of other AA shells being fired. That was probably a case of actual, like, Korean War slash Cold War guided and you know radar guided anti-aircraft guns which yeah are more effective at shooting down aircraft especially from a stable land position 
There's a funny thing that happens on a boat. And this river kind of shows you what, what gives you an idea of what that might be. The water moves. Water rocks your boat. Makes it hard to aim guns. How's your morning shaping up, cool guy? Hope it's gonna be a good one. So something up. I want to chat. Caught a glimpse of a fish just a little while ago. It truly dazzled me. I can see it now. The blue marlin. Do you reunite me with that dazzling fish? Please bring me a blue marlin. I haven't had one myself, but I can see what I can do. Pretty sure that's ocean fish. Pretty sure that's also not around at this time of day, but I do want to be back in the afternoon for turnips anyway, so... It, it works out. I, I'm really good at this. But, like, it's... It's really just... Annoying. Hearing, like, people be like, Oh, yeah, it's totally how it was, because this other video game says so, or this really crappy war documentary says so. Like... It, it's just... It's very frustrating. Is your morning, Schmoopy? I hope it's great, Squeaks. So what's going on? What's the latest? Every time I see Pudge and Gabby hanging out together, I'm like, look at those two. They seem to have a perfect friendship. Nothing too serious, but totally not shallow either. Sometimes I forget that friends are fun, you know? We could learn a lesson or two. We could learn a lesson from those two. Yeah, I mean, everyone could, really. Okay, let's see. I have all four fossils, no bamboo. So let's get up to the museum. Also, three days until EDF6. Three days until EDF6. I, I'm not excited. You're excited. <laughs> I'm literally going to spend today just recording a bunch of, like, Pokemon, so I don't have to worry about that at all while I'm busy with EDF6. Like, I'm really hoping to get, like, enough episodes done to, like, finish out the month at the very least. Which shouldn't be terribly that hard. Because I'm already, like, um, the day this is uploaded... I think there's still one video of Pokemon left to go out. So, like... I mean, I've, I've, I've got some time. It's just, I'm at the point where, like, I kind of procrastinated on making more art assets, so I'm kind of far behind where I need to be on my bio screens. To the point where, like... Even the most recent episode that released with a bio in it, at the time of this video going up, I had to make while editing the video because I was like, oh crap, I didn't do that one. Like, <laughs> I'm, uh, I fall a bit behind. Though, like, I initially was just going to mostly ignore the trade evolutions, and then as I was recording, I was like, well, not the trade evolutions, like the trade Pokemon. So, like, Mr. Mime, Jinx. But then, while playing, I was like, I should probably, like, actually talk about them, because... They are kind of... important things. And, like... I still feel kind of bad I really didn't give much of a bio to our fifth member of our team. But... We'll get to actually see our fifth member of our team, like, doing stuff, so... You know. 96, okay. So we're starting the week again... ...on a good-looking price. That's not a good sign. I feel like right now is probably gonna be the best price we have all week. I don't know why I'm getting so unlucky with turnips. I, I just don't. 
I shouldn't be getting this unlucky with them, but I am. I would like my coffee today, Brewster. I'd like my usual. I have also been playing more Metal Slug Attack, and like... There are definitely things that, um... I, I have found kind of annoying with the game. Namely, that you're required to do the alternate story stuff before you can continue with the main stuff. And it's like, okay, but like, I don't really care about a lot of these factions. So it's like, you know... Like, I don't care about the rebels at all. But I have to play through their story, and like, I can just skip their actual story, but like, I still have to stop, I still have to build out a... a, a group of them, I still have to level them up, like... I don't want to do that, man. Like, that's just annoying. Okay, I need to actually look up the Blue Marlin. Let me... let me see. Leaf Blue Marlin. Blue Merlin. July to September, all times of the day, in the ocean. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be a bit annoying. They are the sharks I've been failing to catch, basically. <laughs> that is that is what I have learned. Um, but that doesn't mean they are around right now, so let's go do a bit of fishing. See if I can find a blue marlin and catch it. Have I... hold on. Um, this one. I'm curious if I've already caught one before. This is a tuna. Yeah. It's a shark. No, I haven't caught one. So I definitely still need to catch one. I'm glad I have this boy, like... But okay, um... Let's see... But yeah, like, I... I really wish you didn't have to play through the uh, the other stories, or like, that you could just play through... ...certain ones? Like, if it was just a case of like, ah, play through three of the five other stories, I could do that. I care enough about three of them that I could do that without it feeling like a chore. I mean, I only have been really putting much effort into improving my aliens, but, you know, I had put effort into my, um, my main army people, so, like, doing theirs was pretty easy and will probably stay pretty easy for a while, but, like, Knowing I'm gonna have to stop and, like, not only level up, but also, like, e equip the other factions. It's like, I haven't even, like, put much thought into using them. Like, that's just gonna be kind of annoying, if I'm honest. Hmm. 
really hoping to see a blue marlin. Oop, this looks like it might be it. Okay, now to not screw it up. Nope, ocean sunfish. <laughs> God damn it. Well, I mean, it's something. Let's scare that away. Hmm. But like, yeah, it's... There's definitely things I would- I would have changed myself about Metal Slug Attack, but it is rather fun, and it is a decent time killer that I probably won't be playing at all today. But, you know, it's because I'm gonna be busy basically all day. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna give the beach, like, one more pass to see if I can find another, like, shark. And then if I don't, I think I'll just meet you guys back here later today, because, like, I do need to, uh, come back later to see the turnip price. I think I'm gonna hold out until at least Thursday this week. Just to see if maybe I get a good spike later in the week. Because, like... I really need to make some bells. And, I, I mean, I could go to the island. There's nothing stopping me from going to the island. I'm not that poor that I can't go to the island. But, like... The island almost feels like cheating. <laughs> That would be a decently, like, fun challenge, though. Just thinking on it. Of, like... And I might see about doing this. I want to see, starting with just, like... A set amount of bells. I don't know how many bells this would be. Like, let's say maybe 100,000 bells. Or 99,000. I'll start with a bell bag. Like, next month, only, like, keep money I, like, can make off of turnips. The rest of it I just put immediately into the bank. Because, like, I still want to go through and do my daily routine stuff, because building up money is nice. But, like, you know, go through and, like, use that 99,000, buy as many turnips as I can... And then, from there, see how much I can turn that 99,000 into over the course of a month. But at the same time, I'm also now thinking that, like, yeah, that would be a neat little challenge to show how bad turnips are. <laughs> because, like... Literally... Even at optimal prices, I think I would max out around, like, maybe 300,000 bells over the course of the month. Just because, like... Well, I suppose, if I get optimal prices every single week of, like, a good price to buy at paired with, like, an amazing sell price, I could probably pull about a million out. By that same token, though, I could, like, spend the day going back and forth on the island. Or even just every day take a trip to the island, fill up my inventory, come back, and I would probably by the end of the month have more bells. Which is just one of those things, like, I really wish that turnips were better. You know, like... I, I do honestly wish that turnips were just kind of... the better way to make money, like... high risk, high reward kind of thing. But the, I do understand that the issue is, like, if you make turnips too good, then there's no reason to make bells any other way. Unless you just don't want to play turnips. 
Which is where I would make them high risk, high reward, where like... You invest, you know, to make any amount of bells off it, like, you have to invest a lot of bells in the first place. And then you make exponentially more bells because of how many you've put into it. You know, instead of it being a case of like, oh man, I put like a million bells into turnips and I made 1.2 million. Or like, I came away with 1.2 million. It's like... That's not really worth the week of effort and tying up a million bells. You know. But yeah, I'm gonna meet you guys back here later today to check the afternoon turnip price and see again if I can get a blue marlin, so... I will meet you guys back here later today. And I'm back. Oh, yeah, it hot, little guy, it hot. Um, I spent like half an hour to 40 minutes trying to catch the final member of my team. I so far have managed to record a single episode of Pokemon. I am so behind schedule on what I had thought I was going to accomplish today. <laughs> uh... Okay, Reese, what we got? What's the turnip price? 90. 96 to 90. We're already seeing lower prices. Ah, uh, why, Reese? Why three weeks in a row now? Raja be butterfly. Raja do be butterfly. That is true. Um, let's see if I can get a blue marlin for Carlos. I'm not confident I can. I've not even managed one for myself yet, which means I need two of them. But, you know. The first one I get is definitely going to the museum. That way I don't forget, because I'm pretty sure there is a fish I have caught that I have not donated to the museum. And I don't remember which one it is. Because I didn't immediately go back and try to get another one. So, yeah, that... That's fun. Um... Let's see... Hmm... Uh, I am not seeing really anything. Yeah, I... It took so long to catch the final Pokemon on my team. And like, whenever you guys see what it is in the series, you'll understand why it took so long. But like, man... It got to the point where I had just stopped acknowledging when I was encountering this Pokemon. Um, because, like, there's only so long I can acknowledge I've encountered a Pokemon before, like... It's just like, oh, hey, it's, it's it again. You know. I say this is another clownfish. Am I right? No, it's a seahorse. Darn it. Yeah, my, my team is definitely, like... Fun. Like... It, it's really gonna be a lot of fun taking on the Elite Four with it. Like... Ah, yawning. Um, the best way I can describe it is it's almost a mono-normal team. Almost. 
As in, there's literally four normal types, two non-normal types. So... Horse mackerel. Waste of space. Like, I am still very much enjoying the series, and I know basically every bio I did for, um, the episode I have recorded. I need to make, because I I had stopped making bios at the Safari Zone, so, mostly because I had reached there and I was like, I just want to start recording, and I basically just haven't put any serious work into making more bios since, which, like, this is a teaching moment for me, of the next Pokemon series I do, I want to have all of the bios and assets made before I start. Um... I don't want to get into another of these situations where I'm having to, while I'm editing the video, stop and go make a bio page. Like, I want to just have them all done and ready. If I even do bios again. Like, I enjoy doing them. But I almost feel like I could accomplish the same thing without the bio screen. Like, for any of you guys who actually are, like, watching that series, let me know what you think. Like... Or, like, what improvements would you guys make to the bio screens if I keep them around? Ignoring the obvious adding what level the Pokémon evolves at. I don't know why I didn't think to add that information. I think I was going to... And then just didn't. I do want to change the layout of the bios for like later series as well. Because I feel like having like... Rather than like big circles with like... The, the Pokemon sprites in them to indicate like this evolves into this. I kind of want to just have that as like a little like... Thing at the bottom of... The big image with the Pokemon. But I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to mess around with things if I feel like continuing to use bios. I might not, actually. Like that's the thing of like I do like the bios. I do like the feel it gives, and like maybe it's just me, but like, I like how it makes the videos look a bit more professional and, you know, a bit more serious than my very casual Animal Crossing videos. Like, I do like the contrast, but, like, there's so much information to each Pokémon, and I want to include as much of it as I can, but also at the same time, like... I feel like... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna paint a mental picture for any of you guys who have seen the 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 leaf green series what i want to do for bios in the future like for later games if i keep doing bios is i want to move the um the the pokemon evolutions from like down in this corner to under the big box like, as part of the big box, like, a below where I have the typings and raise the typings up kind of thing. And then I want to, in the spot where the, um, like, in the bottom corner where I'll now have empty space, I want to put, basically, a recommended move set for that Pokemon. I feel like that is more valuable information than what a lot of series give. Because, like, a lot of series, it's just like, ah, yeah, this Pokemon's good, but doesn't actually tell you why it's good. Or this Pokemon's bad, but doesn't actually tell you why it's bad. Like, doesn't point out some things like Arbok in Gen 3 being awful because its best moveset is, like, Poison Sting. You know, it's not actually its best moveset, but, like, you know, 
it has like no coverage moves and it's just kind of bad. Like, that's what I'm thinking for in the future. Like, you guys will have to let me know what you think of that. That, to me, sounds better than what I'm doing now. So, like, I don't know. Like, you guys, you know, are the ones watching my stuff, so... What you, you guys' input matters just as much as my own does. Arguably more. Because, you know... My input is my series sucks. So, you know. <laughs> and given you guys seem to like it. That can't be true. But yeah. That's gonna be it for today. I'm gonna get my... Sh well, no, I left the this on. Yeah, I'll keep the fishing rod as my main thing. Um, Thank you all very much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you back here tomorrow for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome, Amiibo. See you all then.